honor of presenting for the honorary degree of Doctor of Fine Arts to Martin J. Doppelmeyer. With a pilgrim's faith, a journalist's curiosity, and an artist's eye, you have crafted a unique vocation in cinematography, producing award-winning films that provoke and inspire. If it's any comfort, yours is not the first generation to feel anxious. When I came to Providence College, it was the fall of 1969. It was after a summer that saw Woodstock and America landing a man on the moon. We needed that sense of hope and possibility, you see, because there was so much that we believed in that was beginning to fray. The Vietnam War deeply divided our nation, and in our minds, we still carried the images of how they had shot Martin Luther King, Jr., and Bobby Kennedy. We were anxious. I was 13 years old when they shot John Kennedy. I was old enough to hear the fear in the voice of my parents, but too young to do anything about it. For us, that was our defining moment. And for you, you're, you were in your early teens when the towers, the Twin Towers fell on 9-11. That was your defining moment. Old enough to feel the consequences, but powerless in a world temporarily gone mad. But now, I believe the power is starting to be within your reach. For me, yours is Generation Code Orange. From your mid-teens until now, you've come of age at a time when our nation is in a constant state of alert. There are real and legitimate challenges that threaten us, and we need to be vigilant. But the unique challenge that you face may be to maintain a sense of security, while at the same time remain open to the mystery that comes with the stranger in your midst. I do believe that you are better equipped than any generation in history to inherit power and to make decisions. And not just on national security, but on all the issues, the vexing issues that face us in a rapidly globalizing world. The economy, the growing gap between the rich and the poor, the environment. You're a generation that's more comfortable with technology than any in the past. It's as if you were born welcoming technology into your world. As an infant, I have this image of you in a crib, and as your parents stood over trying to figure out how to work that new sound monitoring device, you were the one who reached up and said, here, give it to me, I'll fix it. <laughs> but where technology has entertained you and helped you to build your social networks, now it will be a critical part of how you transform our world in ways that we have yet to imagine. You are the generation that will demand that we treat our environment with genuine respect and reverence. For you, going green is not some trendy corporate idea designed to make the company appear politically correct. Green is in your very DNA. And you are eager to accept the responsibility of passing on our land, our water, our air, in better shape than you found it. I believe this earth is given to us in a sacred trust, and I really do trust you to take good care of it. And you are a generation that has seen the result of pandemic greed and all the pain that it causes. Success will be yours, but success is no sign of virtue. The great prophet from New Jersey, Bruce Springsteen, who played a concert here at Providence College my senior year, he says, the poor man wants to be rich, the rich man wants to be king, and the king ain't satisfied until he rules everything. Where does it stop? I know that you will leave here not only with the knowledge to excel in your chosen fields, but the heart and the courage it takes to begin to transform others. There will be days ahead, I promise you, when everything you believe in will be challenged. But I believe you will not only survive, you will thrive. There will be people who will look you in the eye and with a smile on their face they will lie to you. But you cannot stop believing in people. Because if you do, it means the liars won. And that can't happen. And you can't stop believing in people because if you do, you will miss a thousand truths that will enrich your life beyond words. There will be people who will betray your trust and they'll make you look like a fool. But you can't stop trusting people because it means that the betrayers won. And that cannot happen. 
And you can't stop trusting people because if you do, you will miss a thousand moments when you were weak and you were vulnerable, but someone you least expected proved themselves to be more than worthy of your trust. And there will be people who will break your heart and you cannot stop loving because it means the heartbreaker is one and that can't happen. You can't stop loving because in loving with all of your heart, without fear of being hurt, you will discover in the very truest sense what it means to be alive and fully human, and you can't miss out on that. My hope for you is that after your time at Providence College is that you will lead full and rich and rewarding lives and you will be part of this new transformation of our world. And with your gifts and in your own ways, great and small, you will begin to reshape this world into the kind of place we all still dream about. And if you can do that, if you can do that, someday it'll be my honor, my privilege, to make a film about you. Thank you.